Hey everybody, it's Marvina, and I wanted to welcome you to my angel affirmation time. Affirmations are really powerful tools that we can use on a regular basis to help us be able to create on whatever level it is that is important to us, whether it's our physical health and well-being, or maybe it's something creatively that we want to do in our career path or otherwise or even in relationships or in regards to developing a deeper uh, sense of a spiritual connection or within our meditations. So be sure to think about some affirmations and some ways that you can send out to the universe what it is that's on your mind. So today my affirmation is every word has power and I choose my words carefully and send out to the universe on a regular basis my heart's desires that I want to experience. And so be it, and so it is, and so it shall continue to be. So I like this affirmation because it reminds us to be very careful with how we use our words and the quality of words that we use whenever we're talking to the universe. You want to remember that the universe is always listening to us and they teach from a place of what I like to think of as tough love because we came here to learn to master ourselves, to master the ego and to be responsible for how we create and what we create and the quality of our journey here. And a lot of times we create by default because we haven't been taught better or we don't know any better, that you know better. And so once you know better, it's important that you begin to be very mindful and dialed in about using high vibrational words. There's a lot of our vocabulary that we choose during the day that, um, is it has like low vibrational words and those words can attract negative circumstances to what, what to your affirmation and to the quality of your life. So one, um, so one word that would be a very uh, low vibrational word is the word hate. I'm using it here, but ordinarily I try to avoid that word but it's a very low vibe word, it's a negative word, and it can just open up your experience to a lot of negative things that might have been associated with that word over eons of time with people uh, saying that word and they're very emotionally charged to it and they have a lot of negativity connected to it. And we can tap into that stream of all of that ugly stuff. On the flip side of it, when we use high vibrational words like love, like beautiful, like kind, hope, these types of words have a whole different energetic to them. So when you find yourself wanting to create an affirmation, make sure that you send out that stream of affirmation as if you have it right now because that attitude of gratitude is so powerful and the universe likes to see us being willing to be responsible for what we create and this is one way that we demonstrate to the universe that we are willing to be responsible and that is by claiming that I am a status like I am so grateful to have wonderful clients in my life. I am tickled to have beautiful friends that are kind, that are fun. We have a lot of fun when we get together. They support my dreams and goals. I get a kick out of hearing about their dreams and goals and helping to support them. And we just work out great together. So when you choose those words and you structure your affirmation as if you have it right now, and especially 
whenever you can tie in some really positive emotion into um, your affirmation, choosing those high vibrational words, uh, speaking it from a place of I am. You never want to um, begin your affirmation like, what I'd really like to have is a new job. Or one of these days, I'd like to have a, a boyfriend that's good to me. Or I'd like to do this, or I want that. Because those uh, types of um, statements, they, they speak to a lack. They speak to the future rather than the right now. And whenever the universe is responding to your the output of your uh, your energy and the quality of your affirmation they respond to it in like so when you're making that affirmation but you're doing it uh, as something that i want then the vibration that that affirmation carries is not one of of the moment it's uh, in the future and so your experience will always be in the future and it'll always speak to lack as long as you make those statements from that perspective and with that quality of uh, words and how you're structuring your affirmation so be very careful about how you choose your affirmations and choose a high quality words and uh, that's going to make a lot of difference in um, how it comes back to you all by itself and if you would like to have some more ideas about how you can work closer with your angels to help you co-create a more powerful life and a better um, ability to do your affirmations in a way that the universe can get it and can respond to you in a really good way be sure and sign up for my uh, angel connection ebook it is free and um, i will be happy to email it to you it has a lot of ideas that you can use there's some really special uh, prayers in there to help you uh, use work with the angels to create a better sense of protection around you and an ability to manifest and create uh, the things the different things that you're wanting to be a part of while you're here in this lifetime another tip that um, i really feel strongly about that helps you to get a little more oomph under your affirmations with the angels is to use the little power windows of the day so a great power window is the 11 11 in the morning and 11 11 at night these are just uh, times of day that um, allow us to kind of put a wedge between the worlds and within that wedge we add what our heart's desire is because the 1111 is it's a master two master numbers or a double master number and it allows us to really up level our self mastery and so we really want to claim those times of day even if you don't feel like you have a good affirmation ready and you notice it's 10 after 11 and you know that you've got this one minute of time coming up that can be it's kind of like a bonus round if you were playing a video game this would be a bonus round so just visualize what is most on your mind that you want to kind of finesse in your life so if it's your health then you want to imagine yourself feeling good feeling strong feeling happy uh, the body feeling flexible and everything working smoothly and having the energy to go out and do all of the different things that you want to do during the day. Just hold that idea and just kind of string that out to the universe, even if you do it just like I said, as if, uh, but remember to say it in the now, in the present, I 
love feeling good and feeling strong and feeling flexible and vibrant. I love feeling like I've got the enthusiasm and the energy and the vibrancy to go out and do every single thing that I want to do today with energy to spare. So if you can hold that little current of energy out and make that statement with those high vibrational words the universe is listening the angels are listening and they will get under it's like they get under your own wings and they help to lift you up so that you can experience those qualities be advised on the flip side of all of that is when we get into a negative funk and we start dwelling on things that we don't like that we could be creating more of that too. So I feel like with the new year coming that um, our angels and our guides, our teachers, the universe, they are all, um, they're saying it's time for us to kind of up level our game and um, kind of take it to a, a better, a whole better place, a whole different level. So uh, they do practice tough love and we just have to realize that. And if you find yourself in a bunch of chaos, then you want to maybe meditate about it, sit with your angels, ask them to give you some ideas about how you might have been um, sending out some chaotic energy so that it's coming back to you or ask them to help you use that chaos energy to put it towards a project or something that needs a lot of energy under it. So I hope you've enjoyed these ideas about working with your angels and be sure to uh, sign up for my free angel connection ebook. I'll put the link in the description below and I look forward to working with you. I'm Marvina Meek. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.